Hello, this is Lakshmi Kantiwari. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to host a static website on Amazon Web Services. So, let us first open Amazon Web Services, aws.amazon.com. Amazon provides an incredible number of services. If you see in menu, it provides solutions regarding your website and web application, mobile services, backup, storage, big data, financial services, game development, digital media, healthcare and life sciences and business applications. And also, if you are first time logging to the Amazon Web Services, then you would be a uh, then you would be eligible for one year free tier service. So in a free tier service, Amazon provides free services, all its free services for only limited use. If you cross a limited use, then you need to pay. So they say you pay as you go, but don't worry about uh, as a learning process. For learning process, you don't need to pay anything. Okay because of that your uh, uh, usage of Amazon Web Services would be very limited for your learning process but uh, if you are first time registering to Amazon Web Services then you need to register here and then it would be asked then Amazon would be asking for your credit or debit card number first time but don't worry about that they won't charge you without your permission okay so first of all that sign in to the console and I have already provided uh, my credential okay so here if you see these are the services which Amazon provides for computation services it provides EC2 that is elastic compute cloud for storage services S3 Amazon simple storage services RDS, DynamoDB, Elastic Cache and Redshift, Networking Content Delivery and Developer Tools such as Code Commits and Code Build, Management Tools, Internet of Things, Mobile Services, Application Services and Messaging, means lots of features they provide. But for our static website hosting, we will use S3, Amazon Simple Storage Services. So S3 is something like you can create a bucket and every bucket have its address and uh, its privacy policy. So here I have already created few buckets. Okay, now let's create a new bucket and give a name mbreath.com and select a Mumbai region and then create this bucket ok perfect now this bucket has been created now open this bucket of course the first time this bucket would be empty now you need to upload file in this bucket so I have already a website let me show you here so we need to upload this website ok so copy this content then you can drag it and drop these files here then it will upload all these files ok start to upload ok so all file has been successfully uploaded to the bucket now if you come to the static website hosting and here is the end point where we can see our website so naming convention is like this your bucket name and then dot s3 website and then there would be a region name and then dot amazon aws.com so website name is embry.com and region name is ap south that is asia pacific south and uh, 6 and 1 that is mumbai dot amazon aws.com just open it and if you open it first time then you will get a 404 not found why because of that we didn't provide a permission for public so for public bucket policy you need to add a here policy so add bucket policy 
for public so here we have bucket policy just copy it and then you can paste it here and uh, eat it mbreathe.com just save it now if you okay sorry you need to also enable website hosting and then write here index.html and then into the error documents you need to write 404.html and then save it and now that's fantastic so now you can see here if you write index.html and now it is opening everything so you can see here blog about us contact us so everything is opening here so thanks for watching this tutorial you have successfully hosted your website on Amazon web services thanks for watching this tutorial and stay tuned for next one